man, oh man, oh man, Rode just blew everyone's minds away at NAB 2023 with all of the product announcements that they just made. I am excited for probably every product announcement, but the one that I'm most, the two I'm most excited for, the two announcements are the Rode, Rodecaster Duo. Although I have the Rodecaster Pro 2 already, there's a reason and I can talk to you about that in another video, but I'm super excited for the Duo. And I was, all of us have been waiting for this much anticipated firmware update. Right now it's in beta, but the beta firmware update, which unlocks the ability to connect your Rode Wireless Go 2 mics right over here to your Rodecaster Pro wirelessly or with one of their USB mics, you can connect it to the USB input of the Rodecaster Pro 2 and you unlock all of the features, the audio processing features that you can now set up on your Rodecaster Pro 2. So check this out. You are listening to the audio on the Rode, the Rode Wireless Go 2s connected wirelessly to the Rodecaster Pro 2. So you can see my levels over here. You can see I do have this on a virtual mic on my microphone number three, on a virtual fader rather, not a virtual mic, on the virtual fader mic number three. You can see this new icon for three and four, I added them. Now they have this wireless signal right over here. And because I have one mic connected right now under three, you can see those levels. If we click on this icon, now you can see on the screen in between the condenser microphone and in between the pod mic, this bad boy shows up and that's the Rode Wireless Go. So you can see here, I have it at level three dB. If I wanted to bring this up, let's get that back in. If I wanted to bring this up to level eight, I think my voice sounds good at around level eight right over here. So you can choose your gain up or down depending on your voice. You can see now that we have access to all of the audio processing features, right? So over here, check that out. I have the advanced processing. If we come into presets, you see you have access to the presets, which are the neutral podcast studio broadcast, uh, so on and so forth. So if we come back, you can turn this off or on. So right now the processing is turned on coming into the Rode Wireless Go 2s. If we turn it off, you can see that there is a red circle next to processing. And now you are listening to the audio on the Rode Wireless Go 2s. That's a, that's a mouthful. On the Rode Wireless Go 2s with no processing turned on. And this is the audio. If I go ahead and I turn the processing back on, now you are listening to the audio on the Rode Wireless Go 2s with processing turned on. Now there is a little bit of room reverb with the way this room is set up. Um, so that's why I do like to have the mic in the shot when I'm doing my live streams and when I'm doing my videos, cause that helps to eliminate some of that room noise. So that may be coming through, but to really have the flexibility to be able to talk to you guys, maybe to have a wider shot, to be able to move around, have some flexibility, come over here, do all of those things and not be worried about having, you know, really good mic technique is super, super clutch. I'm really excited about that. If we come back over here, if you haven't done it and you wanna do it, like I said, it is a beta firmware right now, so you will be updating at your own risk. You're gonna come over here to the settings. You're gonna click on uh, the settings and you'll click on system. And once you click on system, you gotta go into information. You would click on view device information. I'm currently in beta, as you can see here. If you're not in beta and you wanted to test this out, you would just click on this black section over here where it has your serial number and mixer, so on and so forth. You'd click on it about 12 times and then it'll tell you that you're in beta mode. Once you are switched into beta mode, you would come back you would click on check for update and then you would install the update. Once you go ahead and you install the update, that's when you'll come back. You'll go to your settings. You can click on your faders and you would assign whichever mic you wanted. So whether it was one, two, three, or four, you would assign it to a microphone input. You would um, then 
come back once you assign it you would click on the mic itself or you would click on one of these buttons over here you would choose the Rode Wireless Go so you can see that it does give us our battery life indication. My battery is about to die super soon. It does show that there is the wireless signal. It's kind of going up and down now. And it tells us that it's a Rode Wireless Go 2s. The other thing I did wanna show you is we can go ahead now and connect the lav mic to it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna mute. So I muted the audio while I plugged in the lav mic, which is right over here. And I can remove the Rode Wireless Go's. I can have it, the Rode Wireless Go over here. Or I can have it in my pocket if I wanted to. Have this a little bit more discreet, not in the way, no lights or anything like that. And this is all now being done wirelessly through the Rode Caster Pro 2. That is super clutch. When they announced the Rodecaster Pro 2 last year and they told us that we were gonna be able to connect our mics wirelessly or through the USB port, all of us were just waiting and waiting and waiting for it to be released. Now, almost a year later, it is here. I'm excited to hear your thoughts. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button, y'all. Tell me, are you gonna be updating to the beta? Are you gonna be using your wireless mics with your Rodecaster Pro, or will you be connecting a USB mic through the USB input? Um, or tell me, what are you excited about with those other devices? Are you looking for the, forward to the pod mic? Are you looking forward to the Streamer X? Are you looking forward to the Duo? All of that good stuff. I will catch you guys on the next one. Yeah. Peace out, y'all.